Thanks for joining me on this video for making a loose knotted bracelet with a button clasp. I've used a knotting technique with the beads on one of the strands. You can decide how loose or tight you knot the beads on but mine have a little bit of movement there. I've chosen this beautiful little purple shell button. That just matches my purple amethyst beads perfectly. My bracelet has a little clasp here which I've made just by knotting a section of thread so that the button can slip through and secure your bracelet. I really love this design so I made a matching anklet and necklace as well. But today I'm just going to make the little bracelet to show you the design. I've got my 6mm amethyst beads here and I've got another one of these beautiful little shell buttons. This one is about 11 millimeters wide. Then we've got our 0.8 millimeter cotton twine. For our little bracelet, we need about 30 inches of thread. So I just measure that out and cut it to size. I just put the measurements up here for the anklet and necklace as well, just in case you wanna make those lengths too. The first thing we pop onto our thread is our little button there. The clasp is going to sit on the outside, so we want to make sure that the top or the outside of the button is sitting on the outside of the thread. And then we just need to find the middle, so popping those ends together and following it to the other end, pulling that button into the middle part. Then we can tie our first knot to secure our button. I just wrap it around my finger and then bring the tail through the loop and then pull it tight. So about one centimetre away from the button is fine. You don't want it right up against the button so that it can move a little bit. Now we can start to pop our beads on. I like to cut one thread in an angle direction just so it makes it easier to thread the beads on. Also, you want to be able to tell each thread apart so that you know which thread you're going to be threading your beads on. You can see here the difference between the two. I've got a singed end and a pointy end, so I'm going to be only threading my beads onto this pointy ended one. We're going to pop our first bead on, and these are the six millimeter amethyst beads with the one millimeter hole. Pop that on and then holding the button there, pulling the tension on both cords tight, we do the same type of knot again, so just around the finger and then pulling the cords through the loop. Then we can hold our little thread onto the ruler and just gently pull the knot down onto that two centimetre mark. So just repeating that same process again, onto our thread that we've cut on an angle, we pop another bead. And then again pulling on the button to make sure it's even. And wrapping that little knot around our finger and pulling the tail through. Holding it down onto the ruler so that we can measure our two centimetres and have it the same the whole way along. You can do it by eye if you're good at that sort of stuff, but I find it's just as easy just to measure each knot. So we'll just continue on with another bead onto that same thread. Pulling it even on the button, and then we can tie our little knot there. Pulling it down onto that two centimetre mark. You do want to make sure that your knots are nice and tight in between, just so it's actually a true size, and it won't get longer as you wear it and the knots tighten up. So we just continue doing these same stitches until it's at your desired length. My wrist is about 16 and a half centimetres, so I'm doing about 18 or 19 centimetres. And that uses eight or nine beads as well, so you can just make it to fit yourself. I'm just going to go ahead and bead it up until that 18 or 19 centimetre mark. And then we can do the clasp.
You can test your bracelet by wrapping it around your wrist and seeing how long it needs to be. And once you've beaded it down to your desired length, then we're going to make a little clasp for our button. So on the end here, we're basically making another stitch or another connection just without putting the bead on. So this knot needs to be spaced far enough that the little button can fit through, but you want it to be quite a snug fit. So I'm just sort of holding my button up there and measuring this knot and the spacing of it against the button there. And then I'm going to check it before I pull my knot down too tight just to make sure that the little button can slip through. You don't want it much bigger than the button. The button just needs to be able to pop through and hold it in place. Once you've checked that that button fits, you can go ahead and pull that knot tight. Then you can cut your little tails off the end, which sort of finishes it off and makes it look nice and tidy. So there's your finished bracelet there. You can go ahead and pop it on and start to enjoy it. Let me know in the comments if you make one or make part of the set. It does look really cute as part of a bracelet stack. I hope you guys enjoy it.